Greetings. I'm the Reverend Jan Fenner of Epworth United Methodist Church in Gaithersburg, and this is Transformed by Faith Today. We continue in the month of January focused on rest and renewal in the Word of the Lord. And today we take our scripture from Psalm 16. Psalm 16 begins by saying, Protect me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. I have no good apart from you. If we move down to verse 5, the psalmist continues, The Lord is my chosen portion and my cup. You, God, hold my lot. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. I have a godly heritage. I bless the Lord who gives me counsel. In the night also my heart instructs me. I keep the Lord always before me because God is at my right hand and I shall not be moved. I find it powerful here that God reminds us that God does protect us even in the midst of all that is before us in this broken world, even as we face heartache and hardship, God protects us. God provides us a safe and full and robust place where we can take refuge. When we get to the point that we can declare that God is what we choose, the one that holds our future, we can even rejoice in the boundary lines in the places of protection that are set up by a clear yes and a clear no. We get to the point where we can bless God because God gives us counsel and instruction and is always with us. Because of God's steadfastness, we can find a way not to be moved. I was reading a recent article that talked about how every start to the new year is filled with promises to ourselves about how we will do this and that differently, ways in which we will better use our time, we will make it through our to-do list, we will effectively and efficiently manage our health and our relationships, our calling, our profession. And yet the author of this article suggested that sometimes it's not about finding a more efficient way to order our lives. It's not about finding a more effective way to manage all that we have before us with the time that we've been given. Sometimes our true rest and renewal comes by defining the boundary lines that fall for us in pleasant places when we follow God. Sometimes the next step to rest and renewal is a clear and faithful no. It's not about better managing what I have before me. It's about saying no to this so that I might say yes fully to less but to more abundance. It's certainly something that is important to consider as we set expectations for ourselves. How many times have you wanted to just add to your plate without considering what that would mean to your heart? to your mental health, to your life, especially in the midst of a pandemic, when everything takes more energy, when the journey requires greater perseverance and stronger commitment to just the next step. I encourage us to find protection in God, not just protection from all that might harm us, but protection that comes from the confidence to say no to allow God to lead us to clear boundary lines that fall in pleasant places, that enable us to have a godly heritage, that enable us to find a space to bless God who gives us counsel, to enable us to always keep the Lord before us and to stand in a place where we shall not be moved. God, we're grateful that you aren't a God that sits back and demands more and more and more. In fact, you are often a God that calls us to simplicity, that calls us to a reassessment of all that we think is necessary. God, as we begin this new year with some of the same challenges of the previous, give us the courage, God, to find protection in the boundary lines that you enable us to call. Give us a sense of the pleasantness of your presence and allow us to rest and find renewal 
in the depth of the places that you call us to be. We thank you, we honor you, and we worship you. In Jesus' name.